How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and welcome back to another video from my Collecting on a Budget series. The topic for this video is Vintage Cards. Of course we all know that Vintage Cards can be very expensive. So for this video I found 6 Vintage Cards for about 20 euros. Just as a heads up, when I looked up the prices you're going to be seeing for these cards, I didn't look for near mint copies, instead I specifically looked for cards in the so-called excellent condition, which is equivalent to lightly played in the US I believe. To avoid any confusion though I will put them an explanation on the screen right now. Uh, this was taken directly from Card Market, I'll also link it in the video description below if you wanna read that. So this time around there's only going to be two cards categories, which are Japanese vintage cards and English vintage cards, and without further ado, let's get into it. So the first card on our list is a Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket, currently available for 20 euros. Now I really like this card, because it features Dragonite, which is normally a very kind-hearted Pokemon. I mean, one of its Pokedex entries is literally says it saves people from drowning. So this one being a Dark Dragonite is like being an evil version of a good Pokemon, which is really, really cool to me. Also the artwork, it is drawn by Mitsuhiro Arita, of course you know him from the Charizard from the base set, he's an amazing artist so this one is just an absolute stunner and should definitely be in your collection. The second card on our list is a Rocket Zapdos from Gym Challenge, currently available for 15 euros. Now you might recognize this card, it was reprinted in parts of the Celebration set. To me personally though, this one is way better, the original version. Maybe it's because of the hollow foil. But I really, really prefer this card over the Celebrations one. Also, this one being from Gym Challenge, of course the owner is supposed to be Team Rocket, which in the Pokemon world, Team Rocket having access to a Zapdos is actually kind of scary. And maybe that's why I like this card so much, but I hope you do too. And the third card for our Japanese Vintage category is a Houndoom from Neo Revelations, currently available for 17 euros. This is another one of Mitsuhiro Arita's illustrations, you have Houndoom looking like it's howling maybe at the moon, maybe howling to ready the pack for an attack or something. The background looks like it's maybe inside a volcano, and I really think this artwork looks insane. Moving on to our English vintage card category, the first one we have is Kabutops from Neo Discovery, currently available for 20 euros. Now this is in my opinion one of the best Kabutops artworks out there. You have Kabutops coming right at you, it's drawn like it's being underwater. It's looking right at the viewer, being really aggressive, looking to strike at any moment. And this is a really, really cool looking card. The second card is an Octillery from Aquapolis, being available for 15 euros. Now I really like Octillery, I still remember the days from playing Pokemon Gold, catching a Remorite and evolving it into an Octillery. Although I never really understood how a fish evolved into an octopus, but that's besides the point. Uh, this is from Aquapolis as I've mentioned, which is one of the last sets that Withers of the Coast made, and there are so many amazing artworks in there. Unfortunately most of them are pretty expensive, and this one to me I think is really cool, so this should definitely be in your collection. Now the last card on our list is a Latios EX from EX Dragon, being available for 19 euros. Now if you've watched some of my other videos you might have seen this one coming already, but I love the EX cards and I love the Gen 3 Pokemon, and the picture itself doesn't do it justice, I might add a little bit footage here of the card in person, because this card is just absolutely stunning, you have Latios flying around, it looks like it's in like kind of a wind stream or something, and this is incredibly cheap for an EX era card, and this should be in your collection. If it isn't, go buy it right now. So there you have it folks, those were 6 vintage cards. I did include an EX cards, not only because I like EX cards so much, but I do consider EX cards vintage. Uh, let me know what you think. I mean, they were released in 2003, uh, EX Dragon specifically, which is 19 years ago, and that, that constitutes, in my opinion, being considered vintage. Uh, but anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video. Hopefully I got to show you a few cards that you didn't know were that cheap. Hopefully you pick some up. Uh, let me know in the comments below, but if you enjoyed this one, then a like and a sub would be appreciated. And thank you for watching. Peace, peace.